Welcome back everyone to Baldur's Gate. We've just met General Form. And Zrel. They basically made us uh wait, where is Zrel? Oh it's upstairs. Let's see. Uh I need to go speak with Zrel. We released the the goblins, well, two of them. Uh, Thorin killed the others. Now I should probably have made. I should probably have killed them, just for the sake of it. The in preparations must not be disturbed. The rooftop is off limits to everyone. That's fine. I'm with you. Everyone, keep watch and ensure that nobody passes. Excellent timing, true soul. The goblins. Tell me how they suffered. No, better yet, show me. Oh boy. Her mind enters yours abruptly, flickering across your memories in a blaze of excitement. She sees the goblins walking free. And a burning rage fans across your mind like wildfire. Explain yourself. They won't go far. Let the curse take them and save us the job of cleaning up after uh, their innards. Yeah. Let's do that. This base roll is enough. 33 roll. Very nice. Very pragmatic. But, but very, very boring. <laughs> boring. Let's see if there's anything interesting in this brain of yours. Oh she boy. The folds of your mind again, touching your wants and hopes, tasting them. Every emotion soaks into her mind's palate. But there is purpose to her exploration. She is searching for proof of your faith. With thoughts of your care for Shadowheart, distract her with thoughts of your romantic desires, fake it, fill your mind with love for the absolute deception indeed. Uh, yes. a tremor of shared ecstasy as she finds a mirror to her own desire perfect you crave what all true souls should to be touched by the absolute i have already been blessed to stand in her presence it was bliss she gave me everything i wanted show me the power she and gave you What's the point in power if you don't get to have a little fun every now and again? Her presence fills your mind, caressing, stroking, kissing, then clawing, biting, cutting. Your pulse races, your heart strains. Then as suddenly as it began, the pain becomes overwhelming pleasure. She gave me the power to delight with a thought. Or to kill. So stay on my good side. And the best way to do that is to serve General Thorn. I have a mission for you. That's it. Play along. The closer you can get to the General, the closer you'll be to the answers you seek. There well, is a relic serve. that General Thorn requires. He sent his most trusted advisor, Disciple Balthazar, to retrieve it. The relic is beneath the Thorm family mausoleum. That is where you will find Balthazar. But we have lost contact with him. Go there. Aid Balthazar if you can. And bring the relic home. Understood. I'm ready to head out. The shadows around the mausoleum are deep and hungry. You will need a moon lantern to survive them. Take one from Balthazar's chambers. But don't pry. 
The last person who snooped into his secrets lost their head. I believe he uses it as a chamber pot. Uh. Uh. Okay. Go to Baltazar's room key. Not all dead. Is it? Yeah, I guess. Let's see. Should be the key. And we need to get a man like whoa, there is a corpse here. This is his Okay, that is a lot of uh, blood. Oh yeah, but this place here is fine. So where are the moon lanterns? Surgery kit, art. Read. It's all the rain beneath library's conventional medicine shelf. It's wasteful to let all that blo blood seep through the flagstones, and it will rust the spikes besides. See? Um, surgery kit. Attention acolytes. I entry to my chambers for the sole purpose of collecting moon lanterns. My library is not to be tampered with. While I absolutely appreciate your eagerness to learn, my bookshelves do not. Okay, where are the moon lanterns? All tentacles. Okay. There is a good Yankee disc here. That's coming with me. The disc is formed from slate and engraved with good Yankee writing. The symbols are striking to look at, but you aren't sure what they mean. Without a cipher or primer to aid you, the disc's message could be near impossible to discern. Seek a pattern. Oh, we're not getting it. 19. You have inspiration, so let's... That should be enough, I think. Ah, uh, really? Let's try another one. Oof. Yeah, no, never mind. No matter how hard you try, you can't make any sense of the symbols. You should take the disc to Lazelle. She might know more about it. Command the disc to reveal its secrets. Strange disc. Are these Gith Yankee markings? Lazelle might know. Okay. Ah, uh, here is the Moon Lantern. Only one? Oh, she's at a hundred HP now. Didn't notice till now. So we're gonna do a little quest for these guys. Oh no. Yeah, no. We're going down. Dictated to scribe Yantus by General Catherick. So, a speaker for starters of the Emerald Grove and of the Cloakwood Circle. They cannot easily be defeated without a significant diversion of resources. They can perhaps be neutralized from within. Do not smile. 
Complete separation of the circles from what they regard as the ills of civilization. So that's what the other one is. She is a shadow druid. Huh. I don't remember her name now, but. Let's go and find Catherick Torm's relic up there. So, we're going to need the Moon Lantern. with us you'd think they would use these moon lanterns Okay. Wait, where are all the other ones? Oh, okay. It's like, where are all the arrows that I literally just bought? Uh, no, you are going to uh, shooty shoot. I mean, I should be able to with this, right? It's like critical damage on them. This is my happy place. This is your happy place. I mean, it's uh, it's a bit shit, isn't it? Oh, nice. Step on my feet. So. Kind of tempted. Hmm. Right, there's two guys over there. What can you jump up there? Be nice if I could get him up here. I don't know why it did that in terms of zoom. More arpers. Immediately, 
Yeah. I forgot about these two. Wait, why charm? Done that. Nice. But to keep going. And is interrupted. Listen, you. You're vile I Saved. Can't... Really? Okay, let's try and... Really? Okay. Press. All right. Time to see what new horrors waiting for us. Never wanted the easy part. It's a few. Let's see what they have. Putrefied tumor for oil of pain. Okay, chicken egg. Oh, I see. Yeah, more putrefied tumors, of course. I don't know if I can trust that meat, but. Rotten banana. Was that a click I heard? There's something about these plaques. You heard the click. There's another plaque here. Something over there. Ah, uh, okay. That's the door. Yes, uh, the light. Our lady, Mistra. Form? I mean, is there anything here? Because it's like... Shall rise. Is 
Lady of Loss. Okay. One. Our Lady of Mistress of Light. Ah, there we go. Sure, let's go into uh the curse has no effect here. What is this place? Has no effect here. Oh, this is a temple of Shar. I see. Do you accept Shar's test of your intellect? Non acceptance and untested mind is a dull mind. Okay. You feel a small pulse of energy race up your spine and a strange sensation of acceptance. Okay. Think yourself wise enough to be granted Shah's blessing. Should I be doing this? A warm swell rises through you. Acceptance. You are worthy. It is Lady Shar. Worry of me. Are you bold of heart and sharp of tongue? Can you turn any and all to the Dark Lady's cause? Of course, did you even say it? I'm a freaking bard, baby. There is nothing you can't do, no one you can't win over. The statue seems to agree and approve. Shadowheart is inspired, okay. I have a ton of buffs right now. Ritual Dagger of Shar. Ready to offer blood or something? Altar to Shah. It appears to seek prey and a blood offering. Your blood. Uh, take up the dagger, recite Shah's dogma, and cut your arm. So let's do that. Wow, we just walked into the object. Why? Wish I had a Thank you. Holding. Wish you could find a bag of holding. Can I just take the... No. Cannot. Okay, plug, plug, plug. I've done all of them. Wasn't she the one who wanted to know if there was like a... Huh. So that's what people mean when they talk about butterflies in their stomach. Oh my god. Did you want something? The make of Catholic Forum, now we've seen him in the he's flesh. Trouble. Worse, he's a traitor. Whatever loyalty he had towards Lady Shah is long gone. It would please her greatly to see him meet his long overdue end, I'll wager. Uh... Very serious of you. But go ahead. I feel like you've been distracted lately. I don't want to drift apart. 
I won't pretend that I don't know what you mean. Ever since we entered the Shadow Curse, I felt like something's calling to me. Some purpose that I need to find. Give me some time. If I can figure out whatever it is that I need to do, well, then there should be more time for us. Okay. Kind of interesting as well that I've just taken up uh, Shar's stuff. Plus five bonus intelligence until finishing a long rest. Ooh, that is actually pretty good, but it forces me to be without a long rest for a very long time. Okay, so we want to go uh, that way. Mistaken, yes. Oh, God. Well, let's leave it here for this one. Uh, we're almost there, I think. Let me see. Right, just a little bit. Uh, I guess we can keep the track. Oh, Arabella is here. Hey! I know you! You're... Twist em up! <laughs> Yo! thief from the druid's grove <laughs> so she's a druid Sorry. herself like it knocks the wind right out of me be more impressed if you didn't actually kill it but only you should be with your parents what are you doing on here it's not safe quite powerful spell but there's a great story behind you learning it that druid idol i took it changed me i can do all sorts of stuff now not just the vines I think real yeah. hard and say some loud words and then it happens, mostly. Be more impressed than that. The only tales of stolen artifacts are tragedies. I'm glad you've bucked that trend. Tragedies? Them's the sad ones, right? I hope not. <laughs> Especially since Mom and Pops, after Zevlor, when he... Well, there was an ambush. Mum yelled, run! So we ran. I could hear him running behind me. Till I couldn't. Still can't find him. But I bet you can. You'll help me, I just know it. Uh, take care of yourself from the looks of it. Find your parents, you can count on me. Thanks, mister. I knew you'd help me again. The vines won't last forever. I don't... I don't suppose I can stay with you. Just till you find Mum and Pops. I won't be any trouble, I swear it. Of course, you can stay in my camp. Or she could go to Last Light. Oh, thanks. You're the best. So you send Mum and Pops there. I'll be waiting, hero man. Okay. Why is that one the one that's uh, active? Hells. Torchlight won't last long here. I don't know why it's using that thing. Hello? Quip. What do you mean, not enough resources? My face protects me. Have these things have stayed interesting? 
Okay, can I... Jeez, that is stupid as hell. As a little chat stops using the freaking something over there. True loves Karis. One Karis, one of a magical pair of rings. This allows the wearer to receive warding bond from a creature wearing the matching ring. Okay. Let's take that. Pick up. Let's see if we can eventually find the other one let's go through here maybe can we not go in yeah better not must be nearby oh Raphael is here our hero thought but of treasure ahead did not consider the peace of the dead through the dark he went creeping and awoke what was sleeping a new grave they dug which he himself fed. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> Warning on the list. Don't tell me you're worried about me. Merely protecting my assets. I've grown quite fond of you, you know, in my way. I thought it only fair to warn you about the dangers ahead. Dangers are those. Oh, <laughs> we both know. They are soon to be revealed. It would be pointless of me to try to buy you from entering. But I can... set the scene, as it were. Prepare you for your role. Fine, paint me a picture. There is a stage down in the dark upon which a great drama has suspended itself in time. Its actors dwell there still, mired in the languor of their long, tired scenes. If you, however, through the dark, go creeping and awake what is sleeping, chances are many more graves than yours alone will soon be fed. Paint me a clearer picture than that. Let me guess, it's like a... a lich. Living there or something. Very well. There is a creature that lurks in silence and shadow. A creature who, like me, is very much of the infernal persuasion. Ah. Should it make its way out through the very doors you are about to brazenly swing open? You'll have unleashed a pestilence upon this realm. In truth, it is carnage incarnate. So if you meet the devil of which I speak, kill it. Consider no other course of action. You're still only telling me half of what you really know. I can tell. Three, really? Get an eleven? Okay, that's the nice. The and I go back a long way. I admit it would be in my best interest as well should it remain trapped in the dark. Or misplace its head, perhaps? What are we talking here? Lemia? Pit fiend? Orthon? Getting warmer. Warmer. Hot. 
Are you afraid of this creature, Raphael? Listen here, Pipsqueak. Pip Do not underestimate this opponent. At best, you will have the blink of an eye to strike. Strike first, strike true, defy the odds, for they are distinctly in its favor. That much I owe the bastard to concede. Wait. Before you go, I have a proposal of my own. A proposal? <laughs> If you're hoping to taste my blood, little vampling, think again. It burns hotter than wyvern whiskey. This is serious business, devil. My old... Well, a long time ago, someone carved some runes into my back. I'd rather like to know what they say. It's something of great importance to your master. But is it a love letter? A warning, or a deed of ownership. I can give you all the gory details, and I will. Once the beast that lurks below is vanquished and sent back to the hells. You know, we'll help you if you help us, Darren. Then we have an understanding. I look forward to our next meeting. Scars often tell such wonderful stories. I think yours might be truly exquisite. Thanks, Asterion. Pushing us into this. Well. We're gonna leave it here for this one. And we'll be exploring the mausoleum uh, on the next episode, I guess. So, if you've been enjoying this, uh, do drop a like, leave a comment down below, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.